So right now, I have the LiveView Solo. It's connected up to our friend's camera here via HDMI. And um, I have it on a T-Mobile and a Verizon cell card, and it's online. So I'm able now to go to the portal and configure it. And we could easily set up any kind of stream that we want to send it. We could send it to YouTube, Facebook, or any CDN or RTMP uh, that you want to send it to, if it's your own personal Facebook. So these, uh, these options are here. Uh, Facebook, YouTube, Periscope, Switchboard Live, Twitch, and Wowza are our one-touch partners. So we work with our API so we could quickly link to your, your accounts with them. Um, we also have profiles for other streaming destinations. Oh, no. I accidentally clicked on the mouse pad. Anyway, other profiles for the other streaming destinations, and we also have the generic RTMP here for, say, your own website. So you can always set it up that way as well. I'm just going to go, and then I'm just going to go to uh, a quick Facebook page, do a new post. We'll go uh, live from. You, oh, oh, that's a W. <laughs> Got excited. Live from New York. It's Tuesday afternoon. And we go to, we're going to do, go to my web page, uh, my Facebook page, and we're going to put it in a preview mode. And now it's going to, we also have the options to uh, put on graphics on the page, so it's going to give me an option to pick uh, a graphics template when it loads. Okay. So this is going to tell me, this is going to give me a bunch of templates I could pick for my graphics. I could pick one of any pre-made, uh, any kind of just pre-made templates or I could uh, pick one I've already created from a save playlist, so I'll pick that one. And this is all done in the web, so this is all in the cloud. You could access this portal from any web-enabled device, so you could be anywhere in the world uh, separate from the device. So you could do it out in the field with it, or you could, do it, you could have someone controlling the device at your production head to do this. Um, so we are good to go. I'm going to go ahead and start the unit up. So it'll start, it'll start to build the graphics engine, and then it'll start the encoder. We just got to wait a quick second for this. <laughs> there we go. Now we're, now we're started. Now you'll start to see the, uh, the bandwidth on, on the unit climb and uh, actually start to stream here. So now we can actually go to our Facebook page. Uh, so we'll, we'll make the post live because we put it in preview. We'll let it climb up and, uh, so, the, the stream, so we know the stream's solid. And now we can take it out of preview. We have the preview from the Facebook server showing up here. We can say make that post live. Okay, the mode's changed. So we'll go to the Facebook page. Oops, this mouse pad is funny. Give it a quick refresh. All right, and there you all are. So it's quick and easy to get to Facebook, as you can see. It's just a quick one, two, three, and we're there. Now, I could go in here and turn on my graphics. And this is our graphics control portal. So this is all cloud-based as well comes in from the, uh, la from the solo portal to the, to the graphics portal. The graphics will load these HTML uh, graphics on top of your stream and then send it along to Facebook or wherever you're sending your video. We'll turn on the preview so you can see it. And so we have plenty of options here. We could come in here and um, edit them. Let me uh, zoom out real quick because you can't see everything. There you go. So I apologize for the, the very small text here, but you're able to click on one of these graphics and come in and edit them on the fly. You have a baseline crawl. You can see a preview of what the graphic's going to be, like here, the logo color, and a quick upper right thing. And so when we're ready to take the graphics, we just hit the play button on whatever graphic we want to take in. So we'll do that in the upper right. Oops. And then I'll put that on the stream. And then when the, uh, there is a five second delay with the unit to the portal, then Facebook does add its own delay. So we're probably going to see about 
10 to 15 seconds delay. So once the, then the graphics will show up on the screen there. And so it's a real time way you could edit and put your graphics on your stream just from the cloud, just from a laptop or anywhere you want to be there. Um, there's many options with it. You could, as I said, you could build your own and have, uh, have a whole list. I have two lists here. You could have them with duration if you want to put them up on time. You could have them loop and uh, also just play through the playlist once you start it off. Put that in loop. So now it's just going to go through the whole thing, of, uh, looping through it, as you see there. And so you could set your own time to these graphics and everything. You could change the color. You could change the text. And uh, you, have, you have a lot of control. And then you can save the playlist for future shows. Yeah. <laughs>